Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to my channel and in this video uh, my goal is to make uh, DPT, Spark, Thrift Server, Beeline an easy process for beginners. So in this video I want to teach you okay how can you use DBT with Spark. Uh, we're gonna use that through a thrift server and we're gonna create our date dimension a very simple example uh, nothing complicated so without wasting any further time let's get started all right so let's get started right are you excited all right so come to the project directory and follow these commands okay so first we will create a virtual environment and we can do that by python minus m when dbt env this will create a virtual environment in the current directory now let's activate the virtual environment we can we can say source dbt bin activate and here you can see my uh, virtual env has been activated now let's install dbt core we can do that by pip install dbt core after that we are going to do pip install dbt spark and then i'll show you listen how easy you can you know set this up on your computer i have seen a lot of tutorials on the internet they are complex i mean uh, you know long videos i mean it is literally this easy to set, set it up right so now, oops, let me come here. Okay, now uh, we will install dpt spark. Uh, great, that's done. Now, you know, uh, as you can see, uh, dbt has been installed. Now we'll create a new project, dbt init. And uh, this will basically show you some prompt and we're just gonna follow the steps. Enter the name of the project, put this as hello world. Uh, again, we're gonna create a date dimension using spark, okay? Uh, over here, we're gonna select Spark, uh, so we're gonna use the number one. Uh, enter host, so we're gonna say local host. And over here, select number three. We're gonna use thrift server to connect to it, okay? So number three. Port is gonna be 10,000, so select that. Schema, put default over here. Threads, just leave it to default, and that's it. So now, if you go to your current working directory, you will see a folder called Hello World, and there are a bunch of folders, right? Again, don't worry about all of these folders. All we need to just do is, we just simply need to paste the date dimension code in the model section. So I'm gonna show you that particular process now. So now, let's follow the step uh, steps, you know. So delete everything in the folder uh, that's inside the model, right? So I'm gonna show you in Finder because the font size might be a little tiny. So I'm gonna go, just select this, boom, delete, okay? Now, what you wanna do is you wanna create a folder inside that and let's call it core, C-O-R-E. And inside that, create a, a file called dime underscore date dot SQL. So right click, new, file, dime date underscore SQL. Now here, put the particular SQL command. Again, this command will create the date dimension. So I'm gonna go inside that file and hopefully this made sense, okay? Now, once you have done that, again, this particular uh, code is going to create a date dimension for you. Again, hopefully made sense. We'll go over the code shortly, okay? Let's just configure everything first, okay? So, once that is done, close it, okay? Now, there will be a file called dbtproject.yml. Now, scroll down. Over here, you see, right? So, now we'll paste a particular command here. So, let me open up my notes. All right, so we are saying that, you know, we have a folder called uh, core, unable to true, materialized to table, and we want to run the date dimension, okay? So we are done with all the code part. Now we just need to configure the thrift server, and I'm going to show you that particular process. Now, before we run our dbt project, we need to install one more library, dbt spark pipe hive. So let's particular, let's do that. So pip install dbt pi spark pi hive, okay? Now, uh, so you can come to the project directory, which is hello world, as you can see over here. So I'm gonna do CD inside that. All right, now what we need to do guys is we need to launch a thrift server and I can probably show you the steps quickly. Let me exit out of this one. All right, so in the notes section, you will be given this particular spark submit. Uh, simply copy this, okay? And let me show you what it does. So again, uh, it uses uh, some uh, packages called Spark uh, SQL, right? Uh, and I'm using Spark 3.4.0. So if you're using a different Spark version, just change the last, uh, this version, right? And then I'm using Spark Hive version 3.4.0, since I'm using Spark 3.4.0. And the class name is org.apache.spark.sql.hive.thriftserver.hive-thriftserver2. So basically, in a simple language, I'm launching a thrift server. 
okay very simple language it's a way for me to connect to the spark okay let's let's put it that way <laughs> all right so now put this command over here your thrift server would be started as you can see it's gonna run okay now you can connect that through beeline um, again it's a way to basically see whether everything is working or not so let's see I'm gonna do beeline minus u jdbc colon hive colon slash slash localos colon 1000 slash default so now as you can see right i can run sql commands here so show databases right i can say use default database right show tables right as you can see i do not have any table right so now that your thrift server is running right now what you can do is you can go to the project directory and hit dbt debug so this will tell you whether everything is uh, uh, configured correctly or not right so dbt debug and this should basically check all the settings and tell you yeah look everything is okay great fantastic now what all right so now you can just say dbt run this will basically use the thrift server uh, it's gonna take that dead dimension and it's gonna create on the table so now if i go to my b line and say show tables hey look you got a table man all right so now i can say select everything from i can say time date semicolon and sure enough you can read it now not everybody likes to use the b line or the command line it's a little uh, hard to use right so in that case you can download a software or a tool called db weaver it's a it's a tool that allows you to run sql queries uh, so again you can download from google now here you can click on the top and you can select a bunch of database that you want to connect but we're gonna use uh apache hive yeah apache hive so you can select that okay i've already done that uh one sec let me just show you so you can click on apache hive and then when you click on next uh over here select the url and then put the jdbc url over here okay and hopefully it, would, it should connect uh, for you now since i've already done that uh, as you can see default tables and i see my uh, sql table over here uh you table again hopefully it made sense right you can see your data over here as well so again uh, either you can use beeline or you can use a tool called uh db viewer right these both allows you to basically connect to your tables and run some simple sql queries so thank you so much for watching what you have learned in this video you have learned how to configure dbt spark thrift server and get everything working um, uh, in this particular video if you have any further questions do let me know your question in the comment section below as i have also seen like people are using like uh, they're starting the thrift server but i wanted to do through spark submit so hence i opted this particular route Thank you for watching the video. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. Until then, I'm going to see you in the next video.